Welcome. Have you ever heard of Hannah Crawford? Well, she's one of the senior programmers of the Seas of Thieves game that can be found on Xbox, Windows 10, and Steam. Hannah is also one of the QDOT maintainers, which is a Godot plugin that allows game developers to load Quake Editor .mat files and textures into Godot. It can translate trench broom documents into Godot scene. QDOT was developed to provide a simple and user-friendly level editing solution for users without 3D modeling expertise. Game Game engines like Unity, Unreal, and Godot are all capable of simple modeling prototyping, but these are meant to be used as stand-ins before proper models are imported to replace them. Whereas dedicated 3D modeling packages like 3D Max, Maya, Blender are all very powerful in the hands of experienced users, but intimidating to users focused on programming who want to build a graphic level for their games. The QDOT plugin adds Quake Classic to Godot 4.0. By providing a standard level editor, utilizing simple tools designed for games such as Doom, Quake, and Duke Nukem 3D and intended for use by designers, artists, and programmers alike. The Quake.Map format provides a unique solution due to its continued popularity and simplicity. QDOT is currently in pre-release port for Godot 4.0. It requires the .NET build for Godot in order for it to function correctly. The plugin's official version in active development can be found on GitHub at GitHub hub.com forward slash q dot plugin forward slash q dot to enable the plugin your godot project must be formatted as a c-sharp solution before clicking the build button engine version 4.0.beta14.mono is the latest godot engine that the q dot plugin has been tested on hey there godot check out this game i found called across the sea i only found it on gotham.io unfortunately i didn't see it on itch.io but i might be wrong check it just to make sure however the first thing i like about about this game is that it has the volume controls right up front. You know how I love my volume control. Once you click start and get into the actual play of the game, it's based on point and click, and you're gonna follow a trade route or a different route to different outcomes. If you refresh and play the game, the trade routes are always different. You have the chance cube, question marks for unknowns, anchor for ports, and a directional orb for choosing your path. Now this is all gonna be point and click right on your keyboard and mouse. One of the great things I love about this this seafaring game is that it's story based, giving you a nice adventure to read along with while you play the game. If you're in the mood to tackle an open ocean adventure, check out Across the Sea by Selena, which also took second place in the Gotham.io Game Jam 19, which explains why it's not on itch.io. Okay, so check out this game and make sure that you tell them that DWG sent you. Arr! Hey there, Godower. So I wanted to reach out to everybody out here about helping another Godower out there by the name of Reuse RP. I believe that's the right pronunciation, but if not, I tried. The problem this particular user is having that when they download Godot 4 Beta 13 and Godot 4 Beta 14, that they're unable to run it on Windows 10. For some reason, they're clicking the executable, but it's not running. However, some older versions of the beta do run. Now again, this is on Windows 10, and you guys know that I have Windows 10 as well well as Linux. And as you can see on the screen out there to all my Godot big brothers and all my Godot big sisters, your little brother here, I represent it. I tried my best to help out this other user. I was a swinging and a kicking at the problem, but I didn't solve it. So I thought that maybe one of you guys may know what the issue is. Now we do know that Godot 4 is in beta and that it's not perfect yet. However, being that it's on Windows 10 and all my Windows 10 computers work perfectly fine and a bunch of y'alls do, maybe there's something that we're missing here. Maybe there's something that you can help. This user also wants to get down and start making some of those Godot 4 tutorials, so I want to get them up and running because them tutorials might be darn good. Because new, fresh, and great tutorials for Godot 4 can only help the community out. Now, I don't know this user. I don't even know if he's going to watch this video, but I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you get up and running. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone. It's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky.